Speaking of a guy you might have been discouraged with leading up to the the week one of the NFL season, Allen Robinson, who didn't play a like I don't think he played a single snap in the preseason, comes in, gets seven targets, catches four of them for sixty one yards. You got to be encouraged by what you saw from Allen Robinson, right? Yeah, we did a Allen Robinson uh, whole breakdown maybe last December. That's out on YouTube to go to go check out and just really breaking down what is so great about Allen Robinson. And in that time, like you just found out that how good he was at those 50 50 balls, how good his route running is like he's he's a very, very good player. This is a great pickup for the Bears. You saw him go up and grab one of those balls in a contested catch situation and snag it. He was the highest targeted player on the field for them. He just looked like he was the biggest, baddest dude on that team. Everyone was having trouble guarding him. I think if as this team goes and grows, I think his role will get better and better and he'll get plenty of red zone targets and that's where he is going to excel. But he's also great in the middle of the field and he can run after the catch. Um, I guess my biggest question is here is I know Big Co is not a big Allen Robinson guy for for whatever reason and did week one on the field of really being the first time with Trubisky in live game action change your opinion at all on what Allen Robinson is. Uh, let's just say dynasty. Sure. Well, that was... That my question is on. Obviously, I hadn't seen Allen Robinson at all in the preseason, so I was. What well, there was a couple. We did some redraft leagues together, the three of us, and every time Allen Robinson's name came up, I was poo pooing him. Rid of him. I was just you know. And that <laughs> well, on redraft, it was it, just so late that I thought I felt, always felt like it was worth the right. And 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 it's gonna. It, it looks like you're gonna be proven to be absolutely right, even in re, the because the value was there, even in redraft, but. That's in obviously in, in Dynasty Allen Robinson was younger is younger and he got some love a few years back. But that was my thing because I was still hung up on what was who's the real Allen Robinson? That forty year that touchdown that year where Blake Bortles gets forty touchdowns and Allen Robinson catapults himself into the top five of a dynasty startup, or the next year when Marquis Lee's the best wide receiver on the team. And then the next year Allen Robinson blows his knee in week one in the first quarter. So I was still I didn't know. And I don't know that I know right now, but I will say, like you said, after week one, just seeing him on the field healthy, he does look like a big, bad dude. And some of the things, like Taylor Gabriel caught five balls on five targets. Jordan Howard caught five balls on five targets. Tariq Cohen caught three balls on four targets. But those were all like Taylor Gabriel is the last thing the defense could even look at with everything going around. Taylor Gabriel is wide open out there. Jordan Howard, a couple of decent little balls in the flats here and there. Look as good catching them all easy completions like Allen Robinson's four for 60. Some of those were just nasty sideline routes and him look catches he, in traffic catches and 50, it, 50 balls. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I do, I feel a lot better about Allen Robinson today, but to do it than I did before I saw him on the field. If you're not, you didn't watch him. Like you can't not like Allen Robinson more. I mean, maybe if you were just Allen Robinson lover and the truther and you were hung up on that first to season three years ago, you know, I, I I really did enjoy what I saw out of Allen Robinson. And for me, as a doubter going in, it was nice to see for sure. Would the court be willing to grant me a short bathroom break? <laughs> I could hold it, but then it might be hard to become aroused. <laughs> we'll be back. After a little liar, liar for you. We'll be back with more Married to the Game. 